Welcome back to another episode of r slash I don't work here lady. This first story is called my little moment in hell. Let's try to get 1500 likes on this video guys. I know we can do it. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the show. I had reported to work on this particular Monday where I'm the site supervisor for an armed security account only to discover that the blasted idiots that worked the night shift had not only left me with an empty coffee pot, a mortal sin but had entirely cleaned me out of coffee, leaving me nothing but an empty container devoid of my much needed morning caffeine. Inconsiderate so-and-sos. Grumbling, I go off to the local market to buy some caffeinated goodness so as to keep my heart beating through my busy day. Mind you, I am in uniform, which means black pants, dress shirt with my badge and various security emblems. My duty belt with firearm, baton, handcuffs, etc, etc. For the sake of those squeamish folk out there that go all white in the face when they see a firearm, I have also donned a windbreaker with security written across the back in 6 inch high day glow yellow letters. In other words, I looked nothing like any of the folk who worked at this market, whose uniform consisted entirely of a green apron. Now mind you, I probably could have handled this better, but I was grumpy. It was a Monday morning without coffee after all. So I'm standing just inside the door of the market, reading the chalkboard where they have written their menu for the small cafe they run, when this entitled wench on her cell phone walks up to me and tries to hand me a slip of paper. Okay? I'm a bit confused, but I take it and give it a look. But as soon as I do, entitled wench makes a little shooing motion, and walks away and sits down at the bench by the door, never says a word to me, doesn't even really look at me, barely acknowledges my existence, and just walks off. So, I'm kinda annoyed you might say. I look at this piece of paper, and it's a list of, you guessed it, groceries. Um, WTF. So I wander over and politely inquire as to what exactly this is, and why she had seen fit to hand it to me. She says, my grocery list of course, fetch them for me. I'm in a hurry and can't be bothered. I'm on a very important phone call. And again with the shoeing motion. Now, I've been going to this market for about 5 years, and I can assure you they don't fetch your groceries for you. So after some consideration, I very carefully rolled her list into a tight little ball, dropped it on her lap, and loudly growled at her to get off her lazy bum and do her own damn shopping. I turn around and walk off. I hear her screeching out something behind me, but I just ignore her and keep walking. Now at this point, I'm seriously thinking that Entitled Wench will take the hint, see the day glow letters on my jacket, and buy a clue. But oh no, Entitled Wench is just not that smart. She instead chases me down and starts yelling about how she's going to get me fired and I need to fetch her damn groceries right now. Trying to remain calm, I politely but forcefully tell her again, very clearly, I don't work here. Do your own damn shopping, lady. And I leave. Thinking that's the end of it, I go off to get a cup of wonderful hot coffee at the cafe and then move on to the Isle of Heaven, where I'm busily perusing their fine selection of lovely roasted goodness. When who should appear but entitled wench with a gentleman in tow? She's loudly berating him about his lazy workers and demanding I be fired on the spot. The poor gentleman looks confusedly at me, then at her and informs her, he doesn't work here, we don't employ security ma'am. Being a bit of a jerk, I wave at her, give her a big smile, and agree with him. Entitled wench absolutely loses it, goes completely insane, starts screaming that I need to fetch her damn groceries right now or she's gonna get us all fired, and she's an important person, and how we will regret treating her this way, blah blah blah. The gentleman finally gets a word in edgewise and again informs her I don't work there and I don't have to do anything for her. That's when I see a dim little bulb go off in her head and you can see a glimmer, tiny but there, of understanding begin to dawn in her eyes. The dim light is however quickly squashed by her overinflated sense of entitlement and she promptly replies in the snottiest voice possible, I kid you not, with, well he's obviously a menial of some sort. Make him. To say this got me a tad riled up is perhaps an understatement. So I shoved a one finger salute into her face 
and told her emphatically to go screw herself. The gentleman quickly got between us and loudly told her in no uncertain terms that one, again, I did not work there, and two, that she needed to get the hell out of his store right now. Entitled wench literally screamed at the top of her lungs, no words, just rage, and started demanding to see someone in charge so she could get us all fired and someone better get her damn groceries, and how she was going to sue us all. Damn it, didn't we know how important she was? The gentleman who I naturally assume was the manager promptly got right back in her face and yelled over her that he was the owner. His family had owned the place for 20 years and they had never in all that time done someone shopping for them, ever. He then grabbed her by the arm and literally dragged her off towards the front of the store. At that point, I was just shaking my head in disbelief, but I just went ahead, made my selection of fine coffees and wandered over to stand in line to pay for it. As I'm there at the register, the owner came up to me and actually apologized for Entitled Wench's behavior. And we shared a WTF moment. Actually ended up just laughing at how stupid Entitled Wench was. Or crazy, either way. He even tried to let me have the coffee for free. But I thanked him and told him it wasn't his fault that Entitled Wench was a nut and I was fine with paying for it. Now, you would think that that was the end of it. I mean, it was crazy. But weird stuff happens, people are idiots, whatever. But oh no, dear readers, it would appear that we had both underestimated the depths of Entitled Wench's craziness, because as we walked through the door to the outside world, who to our astonishment was there waiting for us? Entitled Wench, it turns out, had actually called the police on us, and the dumb lady was out there screaming at the officer, demanding that we be arrested for not serving her and how she wants us both fired and she was going to sue and that someone had better get her her damn groceries right now, damn it. My jaw dropped, I don't mind saying it, and I was completely shocked. I honestly started laughing at that point. This lady was certifiably nuts. Because of my job, we happened to work closely with the local PD, so I actually recognized the officer that had responded to the call and gave Officer Betsy a wave when she looked at me. She gave me a grin and walked over, asking me about exactly what the hell was going on. We both gave our side of the story, and the owner asked that she be removed from the property, please, as she was at this point causing a scene. Betsy just rolled her eyes, walked over, and told Entitled Wench that she needed to leave right now, immediately, or she would be charged with trespassing. Now, you ever have that moment when you can just see something bad start to happen? but your mind just can't quite believe it's actually occurring? Well, I saw it start, clear as day, as Entitled Wench reared back and started to go off again. And yup, there it was. She actually jammed her finger into Officer Betsy's sternum. Not once, but twice. Might have been a third time. But Officer Betsy had at that point picked her up, flipped her over, and dropped Entitled Wench on her head. Landed on top of her, had her handcuffed in record time, got back up, opened her door, slid Entitled Wench into the back of her patrol car, and slammed the door on her. And we all just stood there shaking our heads in total disbelief as Entitled Wench started to scream and thrash about and kick at the windows of the squad car. She was still doing it as Officer Betsy drove off to the station too. I saw Officer Betsy later on that day, and she told me that Entitled Wench was still throwing a fit when they got to the station and fought the officers there like hell, until they ended up stuffing her into a control chair. She was later transported to the hospital for a psych evaluation. No idea what happened to her after that. This next story is called, Lady Just Wastes Her Own Time, Thinks She Won. I work as a point of sale technician. My job is essentially driving around with a truck full of touchscreens and receipt printers doing service calls at grocery stores, restaurants, cafe, retail stores. Servicing pretty much any company that doesn't have its own dedicated tech team. Many times each day, I'm confused for staff. And it's completely understandable since I'm usually behind the counter somewhere and messing around with the computer. I do what I can to avoid customer contact, dressed in all black, no name tag, carrying tools with me, avoid eye contact, and get in and out as quickly as possible. This works most of the time, but otherwise I have no problem explicitly telling people, hey, sorry, I don't actually work here, but they can help you on the other till. My job is literally r slash I don't work here lady the movie. 
Anyways, so today I had a call at a grocery store because one of the till serial ports stopped working. So basically I have to crack open the computer case, replace the messed up PCI card, plug everything back in, install drivers, and then reinstall all the hardware to their new ports within the POS software. The story begins with me just at the point where I've unplugged everything and had the computer pulled out from its compartment when I pop up from under the counters to see some lady unloading a cart onto the conveyor belt. She's on her phone. I give her a little wave and say, oh hey, this lane is actually closed, sorry for the inconvenience. But she continues unloading her cart. I point at the register closed little pyramid thing that's sitting on the conveyor directly in front of her slowly growing pile of groceries. She gives me a little hand wave shoe gesture and rolls her eyes but continues unloading. All bets are off. I make a show of slamming the computer down in front of her. I unscrew the case, pop it open, remove the messed up PCI card. She's done unloading the cart and looking antsy and watching me. By the time I have the stuff plugged back in and the computer turned on, she's off the phone. She says, What's taking so long? I told you this lane was closed. You should try the other lane. I already unloaded my cards. I'm not waiting in line again. As if she's waiting in line to begin with. Well, this till is going to take about 45 more minutes. You're welcome to wait it out. This is ridiculous. Where's your manager? In his office in Major City where we're based. I don't work here. I'm fixing the computer. It's going to take a while. She stands around for a good 10 minutes while I'm installing drivers. Until the manager walks by and she flags him down. She tells him how rude I was being. And how I was making her wait and wait and wait etc. I say, hey, I told her the lane was closed. How much longer will this take? Half an, half an hour? Okay, well, I'd be happy to help you at the customer service desk. Finally, some service. She loads her card up again and walks over to the customer service desk with a smug ass grin on her face. Like, lady, you didn't win anything. There were open registers the whole time. You literally wasted your own time arguing with me, then did the exact thing you were complaining about, having to move registers, while feeling proud of yourself. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these stories today. Leave me a comment below and let me know which story was your favorite. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.